I'm back for a quick video and I wanted to share a video of the things that I used throughout the month of May and the things that I will be continuing to use in the month of June. So you'll see I've got quite a few things here. I have my, oh, I guess you call it lime or acid green Laheat Lab pencil case. I have my very cool hand clip that I got from Momo Loves Paper on Instagram. I'll link her down below. This is my Roadrunner Sojourner Passport uh, Traveler's Notebook. I have my Olive Green Traveler's Company Traveler's Notebook. And this is a Foxy Fix. There, you can see right there. Foxy Fix Butterscotch Wanderlust in the A5 size. So let's look first through the pencil case. And these are what I have been using this month. Uh, Let's make sure I'm in the center. We'll cut this stuff out. So what you can see is uh, quite a plethora of pens, pencils, and other goodies. Um, I've been using these three mild liners in a gray, a green, and sort of a golden yellow. I've been using this Micron in uh, 0.5, and it's in the sepia. This is one of the best glue pens you will ever get, and it is the Prima glue pen from American Crafts. Um, this is a beautiful Sakura 0.4 Lavender Violet Pen. I got it at uh, Pen Gems in their purple selection, uh, collection. This is a, uh, it says Marvy right there. I think it's actually a Kuratake uh, water brush. I always have a water brush with me for some things. This is, I think I have two pencils in here, and this is one of them. This is the Muji 05, 0 0.5 millimeter that came with that Muji set I got a few years ago. Still use it. Uh, this is a beautiful black pen that came with the June uh, Coco Daisy kit. All it says on it in gold is never stop learning. Then I have a few Stadlers in the fine liners. I have the black, the dark blue, the light blue. This Stadler is a blue ballpoint pen in the medium. I have a Stadler Triplus texture, text surfer, I guess, and it's an ink safe uh, highlighter in just a bright yellow. And then I have, this is the Stadler Triplus, Triplus Micro 0 0.5 pencil. It uses the same size lead as my Muji. And then this is that Muji ruler that came in that little pen kit, pencil kit that you can get on Amazon. Let's see, on the back, this is the eraser that came with the um, Muji pencil kit. I've got some graphite by Pilot. It's a wonderful, it's like nearly indestructible, it doesn't break. And I've got a little extra set of Coco Daisy, the um, latte cup post-it notes. In the back, I've got a book binder clip that I got from an order a few years ago. And here's a few more of the pens that came with that purple kit. This is one of my favorite, the Uniball Signo in the lavender black. This is the Pilot High Tech C in violet. 
And this is the Pentel Energel in 0 0.7 in lavender or violet. I've got a blue friction highlighter, a Pilot High Tech C Mica in black, a Muji black gel pen, which I've, or, and this one's in 038, so it's a little bit finer. And then I have two Pilot uh, Coletto pens. This is the Lumio in silver. It's a beautiful pen they don't make anymore. And this is just a basic Coletto pen. This one is four colors, this one is five. And a standard stencil with alphabet and basic designs, shapes. So that's what's all in my pencil case. And it's a lot of stuff, <laughs> but it could be worse. I, I used to have more in there. Now, something that I've been carrying with me every day, I was back in my Midori Camel Traveler's Notebook, and I decided to switch to um, this, just so I could fit my stuff in there a little bit better. Okay, so you can see this is a very cool one. I remember when I first got it from Rowena, I've had it, oh goodness, a long time, almost a year? Actually, probably over a year. And um, it came with this really cool branding on it. And that's usually a branding that they do at the tannery, the, the leather tandy when they're making the leather. But this is what she calls the Roadrunner leather. It's a beautiful dark red and um, it's a pull-up leather because it, it changes color. Like when you bend the corner, it gets lots of variation. Um, but this is a... Uh, one that has four elastic elastics in it. And so the first thing I have in here is a craft folder. And this is the actual, it's the Midori craft folder. And I've just put a few things on it. And then I have the Peaky Dory Design 2017 monthly calendar. And here we are this week. So it's just our month on two pages. And this is wonderful to have on me, just so I can jot down some notes. And I've got concert dates in here through the end of December. Um, and then this is one of those pen loops uh, from Amazon, where you buy like six and it's like the price of one of the log terms um and then this is the midori brass i'm not sure if you can see that it says brass midori made in japan and it is the black there we are the black pen and i've had this for a couple of years now and so it's patinaed quite nicely because it's brass and i haven't you know, cleaned it because I like the look. Um, then in here, this is a um, Taroko shop dot grid insert. I've got um, a wish list of things started and you can see I've got a couple, like one of them was the Jane Davenport watercolors, scored them and some gesso. Um, and it says here, Sojourner, it's something that I ordered for my birthday. Um, so here's that. Then this is a Midori style, um, plastic zipper pouch. I did have the, um, cloth fabric one, the cotton one by Traveler's Company, but I decided to put this one in because it's, it's actually a little bit thinner and you can fit a little bit more stuff in it. This is the one that's got the four credit card slots. The Midori one only has the two slots and then the big pocket here. And then here I've got in the zipper pouch just some stencils and a traveler's notebook card. Then on the last elastic I have another Midori folder, but I don't think this is Midori because it has these little card slots here. Um, I've just got a few things on it, and then I've been 
using a, those are some Coco Daisy, uh, just using a, a grid, a grid notebook for my dailies and stuff like that. And then I do have a, a pocket in the back and it's one of the Foxy Fix pockets. So that's what I've been using for my everyday carry, my sojourner. Um, let's see. Now, this is my Olive Edition. I did an unboxing of this and I will link up here that video. And in it, I the setup really hasn't changed that much. I have a Midori folder with the Peaky Dory Design Month on two pages. I have another Midori folder. Um, and inside of that, I have my art journal, journal. I got this notebook, I guess, on May 11th, because there you go. Um, some art journal-y stuff. There was, that was a new spread that I did that I, Pretty happy with and I love matcha tea and I was going through my I'm not gonna call it a stash o hoard but stuff that I eventually will use to journal with and I love matcha tea and so I wanted to do a I don't know something about tea there and then I found an old program a friend of mine was doing one of her doctoral recitals and I drove down to Baton Rouge to play on her recital with her and there's an old photo of us from I think it was a day or two before and a cute little note from her and just prepared a few pages here's the brochure from last summer's OK Mozart festival and I'm gonna put the brochure for this year's in front of it so that's just the kind of stuff I have in there um, and then the last thing I have is a zipper pouch with the new Peaky Dory Design. We don't have this up, but we are going to be putting up the uh, June and it'll be available as a digital dated or undated. And we're going to have a little bit of special because the month of June is my birthday month. So that special will last the whole entire month. And I've loved the, using this insert. Um, and so I've got a June printed and ready for me to go. It's perfect. And then here's the back of the zipper pouch. I want a Guinness beer on my birthday. I'm going to have a Guinness beer on my birthday. And a little pocket on the back. So this has been my fun, fun journal to carry around with me. And the last one, if we have time,